Hi, this is Mr. Guy, and we're going to go over free trade or protectionism, so reasons for free trade and against it. Uh, the main reasons for free trade is really lower prices, uh, lower, lower, lower prices, but there's also more goods and more products for the economy, there's more innovation, and there's better quality overall than if you did it by yourself. But the main one that we really like is lower prices. Reasons to protect the economy to have tariffs and quotas to make things higher so we have less free trade would be to protect jobs, domestic workers and save jobs, to protect domestic businesses to save business from losing jobs to China or to overseas, protect infant industries so that would be a new industry that's getting in like solar um, panels or wind turbines or something like that, protect those industries. National defense, could you imagine if we were buying everything from China? They were making all of our tanks and all of our equipment, and then could we go to war with them? No. Increased tax revenues. We actually make money from tariffs and quotas, and we actually increase our revenues from that. NAFTA is the North American Free Trade Agreement. It hurt U.S. auto workers, but helped U.S. automakers because they moved their manufacturing down to Mexico, and U.S. workers lost jobs, but U.S. automakers made more profit and made more money and lowered their prices. Hurt Mexican farmers. There was an influx of immigrants to the U.S. because farmers lost their jobs in Mexico. Definitely got lower prices, helped Canadian manufacturers. A lot of them could sell to the United States or make things easier. Or we had people working in Canada. Made it easier to trade between the three countries. Uh, looking back on it, it hurt a lot of workers, hurt a lot of companies, but we had lower prices, and a lot of times we feel that lower prices are the best things, of course. So you have to look at lower prices versus jobs and businesses. Um, also, national defense is a big reason, big reason to have tariffs and quotas. So that's about three reasons for trade and against trade.